so you're probably searching right now for a video on how to install forward controls on your Harley Davidson motorcycle. You've definitely come to the right place. Welcome back, Bikeaholics. Ryan Orlacher here, lawabidingbiker.com. Thanks for checking back in. Those of you that know us know that 95% of our videos and our podcasting content is for free. We do sell a few videos for obvious reason. This is one of those higher end for purchase videos on how to install forward controls on your Harley Davidson motorcycle. You'll definitely want to stick around because we've got some great info for you. In this video, we're going to teach you everything you need to know on how to install forward controls on your Harley Davidson motorcycle. A shop, this is a, this particular project, a shop, a Harley Davidson dealership is going to charge you probably a thousand dollars plus guys because there are some things we need to do. Um, you can do it right in your very own shop or garage, right on the kickstand. Um, there's some things you need to do and that's remove a primary and inner primary and outer primary because you have to get to your sh main shifter arm. Don't worry, I'm telling you, you can do this. We've got you covered. Um, we get the best angles. We do it step by step. It's like you're right there with us wrenching. And at any time you want to get this video, just head over to lawabidingbiker.com forward slash Harley forward controls. I'll also put those links in the description below. So you might be asking, why would I put forward controls? Well, on you know certain Dyna and Softail models, you've got the mid controls. And if you're gonna ride any distance at all, everybody knows your knees get locked up or you're a taller rider, your knees are really gonna get locked up. That's not a great position. So by putting Harley Davidson kits and forward controls, you're able to stretch out. If you're a taller rider, uh, you'll fit the bike better. And if you're looking at riding a little further distance on those bikes, then we definitely suggest putting forward controls. They're a great addition to any of those uh, soft tail or Dyna models. That's right, videos by bikers for bikers. We're doing this project right in the law abiding biker garage here. I'm telling you, you can do it too. You don't need any fancy lifts. Um, you don't need any fancy tools. It's all you know gonna be basic tools that everybody kind of has in their toolbox and uh, we're gonna get you through it, have no doubt. So you might be asking what years is this video good for? Well, I think we can safely say that anything, you know, early 2000s um, uh, models, Harleys, that's Dyna models and Softail models, uh, it's gonna work for you. Like I say, early 2000 on to present, um, they're all pretty much the same, the forward control kits. Even if your forward control kit is just a little bit different, we're gonna get you 99% of the way there. There might be a little bolt that's a little bit different or a washer, you know, something like that. But I guarantee the bulk of this project, you know, removing your inner and outer primary to get to that shift lever and all that kind of stuff has uh, stayed true uh, over the years. So definitely gonna get you through it. This has been a highly requested video and uh, we're super stoked that we're able to get it out to all you guys. So here's a sneak peek. What time they vote?
So next we're going to take the retaining plate out and you can see on the out he's pointing at it says out so when you're putting it back together you know that goes out. It makes it very simple. You're just going to go ahead and remove that now that we have that retaining ring out of there. Snap ring I should say and that's your retaining plate. If you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel you are really missing out. We have a ton of videos in the works for you guys so get subscribed. Also sign up for the free email club lawabidingbiker.com slash email club. We will shoot you an email when we come out with new free videos. Also, do not forget to check out that weekly podcast. It's the Law Abiding Biker Podcast. It's heard worldwide. All right, peace out.